swag, bitch. Okay, guys, welcome to the video. As we left off, this is going to be part two. So, as I have now the back raised up, I got these tires to weld onto the trailer tires. Well, I couldn't break the beads off them because they're so dry right that they just kept on breaking. So, I had a fine tool out here and I just started cutting. They're full of mice um, nests and stuff like that. So, this one I got halfway done. But I ran out of sunlight. Now the interesting part is there's bolts in the end of these. And these bolts are very, very uh, flimsy. I don't know why my light ain't on. There we go. There's little bolts in the ends of these. And they're really flimsy. But I'm glad I got this one able to move. I had WD-40. I had to heat it up with a torch. And got it moving. But it was uptight or down here but I got it moving bottom line which is good and now I have this one I have to probably work on next probably get that moving a little bit better than what I got it right now but I don't know right now I'm just going to use them figure it out because the steering system might have to change um, I do have to go get more some more steel Guys, I gotta get a thick piece. I'm gonna drop this all the way straight down to the ground. But I want to get these wheels put on there for So when I set something up to go around this, like this, I want to set it up so I can put it on the bottom and then put the rear on and then line it up because I don't want Carolina squat and I don't want um, leaning forward much. I want level. So it's going to take a lot of configuring and moving and doing all a bunch of stuff and stuff. But it's coming along. I have to get my tractor over there to get this thing picked up and put back over the other spot. It's really easy now that I have it lifted up in the air. I can just strap it around. But everybody keeps telling me, oh dude, it's way too tall. It's way too tall. You're going to kill yourself. I'm like, dude, it's calm down. The thing's only going to be able to do about maybe 20 miles an hour. That's about it. I'm not looking for real high speed, I'm looking for real movement. So, but I haven't gotten any of the um, inner workings ripped out yet. I'm getting, I'm getting on that next soon. So, but this is all for tonight, and I'm going to bed. But I thank God I got off of work tomorrow. All right, I will catch you guys in the AM. Okay, there, guys. So I started welding them onto the rims. And most of the welds came out really fucking decent. Now what I did was originally I tacked them all on there. So each one of those is a tack. But the only problem is I ran out of wire. No! Oh wait, I got more. So I'm in the business. All right, I'll talk to you guys in a few minutes. All right, guys, so here we are. We got the wheels on. We got the rear on. And yes, it looks very complicated, but I haven't worked uh, issues out yet. I'm going to get on that soon. Sooner than later. But uh, right now I have to work on getting the proper lug nuts because, as you can see, they're not all the way in. They're a little bit messed up. But I got good ground clearance from this to the bottom. So that's good on my part. Uh, still have to get that all ripped out and everything. Get started working on the pulley system figured out. Um, the wheels for the front are welded on. They're really good welded on there. As you can see, I got good penetration. And they're all the way around centered. So. I got the other one over there that I'm going to take this the steering arm off of, but I haven't gotten to that yet. Um, I got these pieces that are probably going to be my fronts, but I have to make sure I have to jack everything up and line everything up and make sure. The wheels are just so I can push it around easier with the tractor, my other tractor, and get it around easier. Hopefully it works. If it doesn't, uh, I'm going to have to go back to the drawing board. Alrighty guys, thanks for tuning in. We'll see you guys in another part, and another time, and another place. Okay there, here we are back today at the, um, big boy. 
Right now I'm calling calling her the big boy because I don't have no I don't know other eye names for ideas for names for this thing. So yeah. Um she's jacked up by the worst way possible. But I have to make sure she's level. This this way. This way I'm not really worried about. Just just this way. Cause that should be level. If I'm correct. So I have to do a lot of figuring out for the front end, but I'm going to have it figured out pretty fast and pretty well quickly because I am running out of daylight. I just want to do a little video, show you guys I got her pretty well level. I know the sun's in the way, but I got her pretty well level. There you go, guys. You can see a little bit better. So, yeah. Um... Right now I'm going to get my welder out, get grinder out, and start uh, start just getting this problem figured out and get it correctly done. Alright, until we meet again. As I'm getting ready to finish up the night, guys, I've got this beam all welded in. And here, let's, 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 do, a, let's do a good test. Nope. I don't think it's breaking. But, uh, that cedar beam might, because that's lighter than hell, but I don't know how much weight that does, does that's going to support for much longer. Because, uh, I got to get the wheels underneath, and then, uh, I'm calling it quits, because, uh, a little scared right now. Ladders don't seem like the best idea, but, I mean, it works. It works for right now, so we'll, we'll call it a, uh, success. Success. Uh, success. 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 Yes, success. Sorry, I'm just a little excited right now because, oh my god! Like, you're looking at this damn thing. The wheels look, like, those are smaller, but those are bigger. But, but still, it, don't, don't, don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. We're still, we're still not worried about that. Oh my god, dude, look at this damn thing. Oh. I'm going to get these two supports welded into the back tonight. And then we're going to call it quits. Because I don't know, I'm just going to just, I'm just going to ride it on this thing. That, that, that's going to be supported up more. Don't worry about that. I'm not that dumb, but we're going to we're going to we're going to figure some more stuff out. That's temporary for right in this second. Until I say it's not. But yeah. So yeah, we're going to we're going to we're going to call it a, that a night. Okay, so it's been a week almost after I welded this thing on and uh figuring it out. It's supported by the Riggin Ingenuity. Now, as you can see here, if I drop this even a few inches, I only have a little bit of play. Which, I'm going to want this thing a tear totter, but I drilled the hole wrong. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut that out up top here. I don't know if you guys can see that real well. It's a little cross member, but I'm going to cut this off and re-weld it back down here. And it'll give me some more position. If, if so, I can cut this off, flip this around... And uh, figure it out that way because uh, I don't have a drill bit for this big enough of a bolt, and that's gonna be pretty sketchy when I decide to uh, finally finish it up. But today I'm just gonna do some that simple and reinforcing the back here onto the frame. So I gotta do struts from there to there. So, and then maybe some of this mechanism is gonna come out today. Don't know yet. I haven't really decided whether it is or isn't, but who knows. But some of the stuff I'm going to save for linkage, springs are going to get saved. This arm, I still have to figure that one out. But other than that, I'm going to figure it out. Alright, I will talk to you guys in the next one. So, I got the front all V'd in. I didn't do my original idea where I was going to go a T, but I had to do that because I had that plate that was up here that was the original arm holder for that. For that. I still don't have limited travel. I gotta figure that out eventually, which I'm probably gonna do that on a later date. Um, but right now I have those two bars in, welded, tack welded. These are tack welded in. This project's on hold for a little while because um, <sighs> supplies and other things are getting a little too hard to find. But other than that, she can rock her around no problem, not attached, and she's not falling. The only problem I have is the back. The back looks like it's going to do one of those T-flip-overs, so we'll figure that out on a later date. 
and uh, probably get some bigger tires for the back here or tighten some of this stuff up but you know how it goes process it's all tight she'll be going to the um for summer ends she's going to the uh, car wash so just so i can get all the grease off and everything and start prepping her for an engine all right i will see you guys in the next one Peace. hello everyone here i am today with the tractor now, as you can see, I have not done much except for the uh, framing underneath here. The framing underneath here is pretty good. And the tires, well, I need to figure out the wobbling situation, which everything's pretty sturdy. As you can see, the back is just the one thing I'm worried about more. So, what am I going to do to fix that? Well, let me show you. The big boy that I got. For right now uh engine setup has not been declared yet but uh i'm still working on the process of figuring everything out and getting everything prepped and ready for a, another process of figuring stuff out but i was looking online and i picked up a nice cheap tractor for about 20 30 bucks a b o l e n s plus blondes or whatever um there's actually two things I just need off of this tractor, and this thing is actually bigger than what I thought. It's bigger than a normal tractor, but I got me a nice 14 horse uh, engine in this bitch. So, basically this engine is going to be used for my Allison Chalmers. I got the year and type on there. The starter, apparently... Something is wrong with the gears. Apparently the starter is stripping out. But I believe it's something else. That the gears won't hold on to. But. It seems to be that. It's probably not lining up the right way. Because as I'm looking at it here. The teeth seem fine. But I won't know until I get into the inside of the engine. But. Other than that. It's a really big tractor. The wheels are broken off at the front. They have a different steer. It has a different steering mechanism than what I'm used to. But. That doesn't mean I can. Use the steering mechanism for anything else. Because this might turn into something else. Once I get this engine out of here. But the flywheel's bad or whatever. I will be using that the engine on my uh, Allison Chalmers. And it does have a pulley on the front. So it's about the same size as my 10 horse Briggs and Stratton that's on there right now. But uh, that one doesn't run. And the rear setup is about the same as the other tractor that I have over here. But the only thing different about this is the rims, well, the tires. So I think the tires are about the same size, and from my looking understanding is that the tires are on backwards on this, because the air trucks are supposed to be in the inside, as I've seen on this one, and the other tractor that I had over there, which is the Allison Chalmers. <coughs> but, it all sets, but I'm, I'm kind of liking the spring, so this might have to transfer and go into there, and a nice little seat might have to get stuck. But for right now, I just have to figure out the uh, whole process behind everything, and get started on that. But I just want to do a quick little video, because this is going to be part the end of part two. So, I will see you guys, hopefully mid uh september into october because uh i got because i got some uh, other stuff i need to do and work has been getting well i need to get back to work so all right i will see you guys in the next episode tell me pretty lies look me in the face tell me that you love me even if it's fake